What is good everybody? It is Unbeatable Jacob back with another YouTube video. Now, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded. Look, man, I'm a Twitch guy, right? The only reason why I still have this channel is because I know that some people who watch YouTube only watch YouTube and don't really watch Twitch. I'm kind of the other way around. I only watch Twitch. Don't watch much YouTube, but I get it, right? I know some of you guys don't want to watch my streams, but that's okay because I'm still going to upload here occasionally. So, today's video, I'm just going to kind of show you guys exactly what I've been up to so far for Season 5. Of course, anyone who's been watching my streams regularly kind of know the answers to those questions. But, I'll just kind of, you know, show you guys what I've been up to. Show you my lineup, how I'm coming along with XP, what I'm grinding, etc, etc. And just kind of give you guys some new opinions on some content and things of that nature as well. So, this is the lineup for right now. I'm going to go ahead and just like take myself off the screen so you can see my backup is Luca and Scotty for my guards. So this is what I'm rocking with, man. I got my Cade out here, obviously my favorite player in the league. Shout out Cade, man, you already know. Dude got 39 Hoth badges, a bunch of the good defensive Hoth badges, rim protector, clamps, interceptor, etc., etc. So he's going to be around here for a while. Then we got Cedric, who I think is the best card in the game. I tried telling you guys to buy these cards early. I did, so I spent about 200k-ish to lock in this card. Definitely a good deal. In my opinion, the best card in the game. I think he gets it done on both ends of the floor better than anybody. I got Cincinnati's pal. I think he's a bit underrated. Pretty good all around, but he is what he is. D-Rob at the four, I think that's great. And Yao is still in here at the five, so just running Yao on next gen, I still think that he's probably the easiest center to use, and for that reason, I'm gonna keep him right there for now. Off the bench, we got Luca on next gen, he's a glitch. I don't really gotta say much about this dude right here because, I mean, I think you guys know what this card gets into on next gen. Scotty's a backup two, he's gonna get replaced sooner than later. Rudy is a backup three, he's gonna get replaced sooner or later. And same with Mo Lucas. Um, a lot of people hate on me for running this card. He gets the job done for me. That's all I can say. I mean, forget the stats, forget the badges. He gets the job done. That's all that matters. People worry about his jump shot. I got a 74-3 with a plus six coach. That gets it to 80. And then a plus four from four general gets it to an 84. I don't really miss with him. And then Wilt. The only reason why Wilt's still in here is because he is a part of the 1960s collection. I do have the cards ready for both this set and this set to lock in. So depending on how good Terry Dishlinger and Artis Gilmore are, they might be on the team sooner than later. Pretty excited for those cards. At first, after I saw Dwight Howard and Clay Thompson, I was a little bit let down, but Chris Mullen here, who I did not lock in for, and Cedric, who I did lock in for, kind of showed that they do they do have some tricks up their sleeves for these sets. And I'm pretty excited to see how Artis and Terry look like, and then I'll make my decision if I want to lock them from there. Sitting on 1.5 million MT, essentially. Sitting on a thousand tokens, essentially. So not in the best spot, you know, I'm not trying to spend any more money rest this year, so I'm gonna try and stretch this as long as I can. Might try and do a little bit of sniping. I know right now the Dark Matter Bio Filter is pretty good. I think that you can definitely get some high-end stuff here, and there's a few other filters, I think, especially with Enable, that can maybe spin something up and possibly, you know, get myself a, get myself a nice little snipe, we'll see. When it comes to Unlimited, right now I'm in Showdown tier, just started, five and a one in Showdown. I uh, don't have the greatest record in the world or anything. I was playing some games with Dunk Topher, Jokic, and stuff like that. And like, I can I can say it now. The meme's kind of dead. Like, all right, bro, I was trolling. Lost a few games for that reason, but you know, just matched up with a few other sweats and probably gonna complete Showdown. Um, I wouldn't complete Showdown if I wasn't a streamer, but Showdown's pretty easy stream content, so probably keep it rolling there. As far as XP goes, I'm gonna do it. Um, the main reason why I am doing it is for this Hoth badge option pack. I think that getting Hoth Sniper and putting that on Cedric is definitely the move. And once I get that close, it's like, all right, I might as well get Ray. And then once I get Ray, I can get another Hoth badge here through these challenges, which I haven't really got through yet. I think I'm at like this one right here. Yeah, I'm on the fourth one. So once I get Ray, I'll get through these and get another Hoth badge here. And then I might do the at level 40, after level 40, or whatever it's called, beyond level 40, so I can get myself a uh, another hot badge that way. So that's kind of what I'm looking at for right now as far as XP goes. I'm kind of, you know, just taking my time. I haven't really done any of the maxed out stuff yet here. Just kind of doing stuff here or there. I'm at 1,000, or 100,000 right now. For limited this weekend, I did go ahead and get my ring. I'm getting all my rings because I think Boogie might be playable. If not, I'll just not play the last week and get my hot badge. I also got my Hoth badge from Limited this weekend, which ended up being Putback Boss. 
definitely a letdown. Overall, with the Hoff badges I've been getting lately, I feel like I've been getting hoed. I got post spin technician from the Paulo Banchero challenge. I got put back boss from Limited. I got ball stripper from, it was something recently. It might've been the pink diamond box for, uh, no, I got ball stripper from level or from uh, 80 games in clutch time. And I'll probably stop playing clutch time at 80 games. I guess I might as well play 10 more and get 75 tokens. But after that, I don't really care to have big Z. And even though if I did have Sean Kemp, he would come in here and play the backup four where Mo Lucas is. I'm just not going to like stress myself out going for Sean Kemp because, you know, it's RNG and there's only so much you can do, right? So it is what it is in that situation. But that's pretty much where I'm at right now, man. Do you guys got any ideas of simple content I could upload on YouTube? Let me know. Unfortunately, you know, with as much time as I spend working my normal job and then also streaming, I don't really have a lot of time to be making YouTube content. I wish I had a few more hours in the day to be able to, you know, make videos like the Inside the Minds, the history of videos last year that I was making. I felt like I was making really good YouTube content last year. I just wasn't able to sustain that, that workload, honestly. So... Right now, just focusing on Twitch and playing the game still over there. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I, I really am. I, uh, you know, if you guys have been around and, you know, knowing me, which I'm sure most of you do at this point, I wasn't really enjoying 2K22 for a long time. I think that, you know, what they do with the dribbling made for a really hard adjustment. I think people who really know what they're doing are starting to figure out how to burst laterally again. See, I still hit the burst window sometimes here. But it's possible. It's possible to move. It's just the matter of putting in the work and figuring out how to do it. Um, obviously, I'm just trying to go side to side right now. But realistically, I just want to be able to move a bit. And 2K22 has made that hard for me. But we're working on trying to get it back, man. We're trying to get back in the back in the motion here. Trying to get back to the point where hopefully I can start playing some wagers and stuff soon. But I just haven't really been very good this year. So not really going to put my money up on a game I don't feel like I'm comfortable with. And it's taken a long time. There's still a lot of issues with the game. But I feel like, you know, had a few decent wins in the past season against some pretty good dudes. So maybe I'll get back to where I was last year. But as of right now, I'm nowhere near as good as I was in 21, unfortunately. But that's just kind of the state of the game, honestly. You guys know how I play. This game isn't really made for dudes like me. Um, but it's more, it's more tailored towards that now than it was. So happy about that. That's pretty much all I got for you guys, man. Let me know if there's any types of videos you think might be easiest, easy enough for me to make, you know, videos like this, where I don't have to edit, where I can just boot up a OBS and record it. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll keep trying, man. Try to find time for, for this side of things, but I appreciate you guys and I'll be back sooner than later, man.